What's up, you smooth brain sons of bitches? Here we are to talk about another movie. Today we're talking about Fried Berry 2021. Right from the jump, this poster grabbed me. Neon, this dude's face, something about it, these taglines, which can it possibly live up to them? The hard R version of E.T. A cult destined film that you must see to believe. These are setting the bar pretty high. And I gotta say, it doesn't disappoint. So let's read the IMDb description. Barry is a drug-addled abusive bastard who after yet another bender is abducted by aliens. Barry takes a back seat as an alien visitor assumes control of his body and takes it for a joyride through Cape Town. What follows is an onslaught of drugs, sex, and violence as our alien Taurus enters a weird and wonderful world of humankind. So that's a description. And does it live up to that? Kinda yeah, it does. Hey, hey, what the fuck is this now? Oh, no sucky sucky, come, 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 come. From the beginning I was like, eh, it didn't seem like it was gonna be following that hard R-E-T as advertised, but over time, it really did kind of fall into that. And, and even when it wasn't on that path, it was always interesting, always full of really weird character actors that are in it for just a small amount of time, but their amount of commitment and sell of these characters is like off the charts. There's not a single person phoning it in. I believe every character on screen, and they are so outlandish that you're like, well, that has to be a real person. This has to be based on somebody. What is that person? So I think it was a little bit racist. I know, because I'm a little bit racist. That's why I like coming here. Okay. This is a film where I could explain every single thing in detail that happened in the movie, and it wouldn't affect the watchability at all. Everything about this is like a visual feast. It's weird from its tone and lighting, how things are filmed, just the exaggeration and effects. Just a really fun time. And then she whipped it out. She was a man. I didn't know what to do with myself. What kind of music can you man? You too oldie? This lead character here, I'm not familiar with him at all, but I loved him. His body language and facial expressions, he, he does so much more than words would. <laughs> like, I, I used to like, like dog, dog fighting. I had a killer poodle, and I was, and I was, uh, what was it, what was, it, what was it, Winnie? The cast of characters, amazing, perfect casting. Whoever was in charge of that, you did an amazing, amazing job. These actors from supporting, minor roles to your leads here, really sold it. It's weird to say that a drug fueled alien sex maniac could be an endearing and charming character but he is and Cape Town must be the weirdest place if this is at all indicative of what could happen in the course of a few days Tiffany puts hairs on my chest. <laughs> The only thing that took me out of it, and I, maybe it's just that I'm not from there, this main character to me is very strange looking, and that's part of what drew me to this poster. But everyone in the movie seems to believe he's like the most attractive dude. It's really weird. Changes, the inner changes that you experience much to your annoyance, all data resurface. This movie is the fever dream of somebody who took a handful of shrooms, very potent ones, and then watched 24 hours straight of Die Antwoord music videos, and then said, I'm gonna film one long segment for the movie Cousseau. That is Fried Berry. <laughs> That was different. <laughs> At the beginning, I was like, what am I watching? Uh, and then it became just this amazing wild ride, and that E.T. comparison really became a reality as I started to understand and follow and really care about this. <laughs> if you like an outlandish movie, if you like a cult classic, if you like something that's gonna make you say, what the fuck am I watching every now and again? Fried Berry, totally for you. <gasps> Science has Berry. So it's listed as a comedy horror sci-fi, and I will agree there are elements of all those things. It is unsettling at times, it is disturbing, but it's always interesting. This is a really fun watch. Would be amazing for a group watch, but I think the group watch could take away from it in some aspects if your friends are talkative or, you know, annoying in any way. It's something that if you did not pay attention to certain parts, you'd be like, where the fuck am I? Because there's so much happening in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yum. The director is Ryan Kruger, and this is his first feature film, and I am so excited for him to do more feature films. He's done a million shorts, and that kind of makes sense with the vibe of what you're seeing here, because it does have like music video elements with how fast paced it is. There's always things happening, and I, I love that about it, because it certainly holds your attention. There's even an intermission at one point, and you're like, you're like wait, wait, how long has this been? But it's not that long, like an hour and 39 minutes but it moves. Hard to recommend. Again, this is on Shutter. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire. We'll see you next time. And until then, fuck off.
just daggers You know that he's the sharpest in the shed with content So killer that he left them all for dead Yeah, cause like I said, no, he don't do this just for fun And never stop until the top because he's going number one Just daggers, always cutting through the competition Everybody listen, homie, he came up here on a mission Got him wishing that he could take a break to stunt But the point's to stay sharp, ne never go blunt Just daggers, edge up, just daggers Just daggers, edge up, just daggers Just daggers, just daggers, just daggers, just daggers. Just daggers, just daggers. 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 Just daggers.